It has been published that they have been associated with less of the risks for cancer um, and other health issues as tobacco and smokeless products. That does not mean that there's no health risks associated with them, but it's important to consider some of the potential benefits of this along with the risks. One important finding that was published was that Zins were actually being used to help transition people from the more dangerous uh, tobacco-based products to one with less risk of cancer or malignancy. I'm Gabriella Zambrano-Hill. I'm a family medicine physician. I work at Houston Methodist PCG Mont Bellevue. So Zins uh, are a nicotine-based product. Um, that means that they can have an association with dependency, tolerance, addiction, just like any other nicotine-based product. Nicotine itself can also sometimes cause maybe a little heart racing, some jitteriness. And so it's important to notice if you're having that effect on your body and if you're tolerating it or not. The product was approved by the FDA to allow for marketing of it to customers or potential customers ages 21 and up. But that does not mean that this is an FDA approved nicotine product. Those are two very different things.